ready five seconds start madam i beg to move that the bill to provide for the redressal of grievances of employees in hospitals and certain other institutions and for matters connected there with or incidental thereto be taken into consideration madam as you are aware following the judgment of the supreme court in the bangalore water supply and sewerage board case which gave a very wide interpretation to the term industry under the industrial disputes act 1947 the definition of the term industry was revised so as to exclude among others hospital or dispensaries educational scientific research or training institutions institutions owned or managed by organizations wholly or substantially engaged in any charitable social or philanthropic service khadi or village industries any activity of the government relatable to the sovereign functions of the government including all the activities carried on by the department of central government dealing with defense research atomic energy and space madam this was necessary because these are the areas which we felt should be free from strikes or stoppages of work etc in the interest of general public promotion of voluntary effort efficient discharge of the sovereign functions administrative legislative and judicial of the government and also with a view to protecting vulnerable sections of industry while most of the provisions of the said amendment act of 1982 have been enforced the said section 2e could not be enforced because it was felt that before excluding certain establishments or institutions from purview of the industrial disputes act there must be an alternative grievance redressal machinery for the employees employed therein or else their exclusion without at the same time providing for a suitable alternative machinery might be open to challenge as being discriminatory and violative of article 14 of the constitution of india it was with this objective in mind that the then minister of state for labor introduced in this house the hospitals and other institutions settlement of disputes bill on 6th may 1992 divergent points of view were expressed in the course of the debate on this bill representatives of the voluntary organizations etc were also heard and the then minister gave an assurance that he would discuss the matter with the trade union leaders in pursuance of that assurance meetings were held with the representatives of the central workers organizations in july august 1995 in the light of the discussions held with different persons concerned we have now brought forward another bill which is much simpler than the previous one and embodies for the employees concerned a machinery which would be largely internal to each organization the bill which is now before the house is in pursuance of government's desire to provide for a proper procedure and machinery for the redressal of individual and collective grievances the arrangements proposed are more conducive and less cumbersome than the procedure incorporated in the industrial disputes act 1947 this bill provides for two types of machinery one for the redressal of individual grievances and the other for collective grievances individual grievances will be looked into by the grievance redressal authority against whose orders an appeal will lie to the appellate authority if any aggrieved party is not satisfied with the decision of the grievance redressal authority or the appellate authority 
it is free to approach an independent tribunal whose decisions would be binding all these authorities would be required to pass an order within a specified time as regards collective grievances these would be looked into by a management council a bipartite machinery comprising the representatives of the employers and the employees where a management council fails to settle any collective grievance within a specified period there is a provision for reference of the grievance to an agreed arbitrator failing which the grievance could be referred to a board of arbitrators headed by a judicial officer appointed by the appropriate government in order to give relief to the smaller establishment we do not propose to apply the proposed legislation to establishments employing less than 10 persons we also propose to exclude from its purview establishments owned or controlled by government this provision has been made owing to the fact that government employees can take recourse to administrative or similar tribunals in individual matters and jcm or jcm type machinery in collective matters we also propose to exclude societies registered under the societies registration act 1860 subject to certain conditions one of these being that if they are entirely financed by the government they would be excluded besides educational institutions will cease to be covered in due course as and when the appropriate government makes a law for the redressal of grievances of employees the government will have the power to exempt any establishment from its purview